We're going to begin our study of Algebra 2 with the basic idea of math. Mathematics is nothing more than the ability to identify and work with patterns. So in patterns and expressions, we're going to learn how to discover a pattern and then express the pattern algebraically. The first step in doing this is, build, is simply identifying the pattern. In the pattern shown here, there is a set mathematical operation that is happening from through the series of terms. To move from 1 to 3, 2, 6, 5, 15, and so on, you have to follow a set organization. And identifying this pattern, then being able to express the next items in the sequence, is very helpful in mathematics. So the way this pattern was established is from term 1 to term 2, and multiplied by 3. And then from term 2 to term 3, I subtracted 1. And then repeated the pattern. So this is times 3 minus 1 times 3. So next in the pattern would be another minus 1, so 14, times 3, 42, minus 1, 41, and so on. But being able to pull out the pattern and identify it is very helpful. For instance, geometrically, if a series of toothpicks is being laid out to make the triangular pattern shown, is there a way of predicting the number of toothpicks that you would need in order to make a certain number in the system? So when we deal with patterns, let's look, identify each item and how many are there. So in figure one, there are a total of three toothpicks. In figure two, we end up with five toothpicks. In figure three, we end up with seven toothpicks. And the figure number is equal to the number of triangles that are being shown. So is there a way of establishing how to get from one to the next? And this is going to lead us into our next concept. So if we take the information that was given in building the toothpick triangles and put it into a table, we have this. We have a figure number, the number of triangles, or just where we're at in our display, process, which we will build on, and the number of toothpicks. So if we go through <clears throat> and look at the way we go from number of toothpicks in one figure to the next, whatever we had before, so to move from 3 to 5, what we're doing is we are adding 2. So 2 is going to be a very important piece in this process. And then, again, we add another 2. So if we do this for the first couple, then we are to do a figure 4. Sketching it real quick. 1 triangle, 2 3, 4, we see that we have a total of 9 toothpicks, so once again we added 2. Well, in math we can express repeated addition like this as multiplication. So we're going to strike out these additions and just say we're going 2 times some number. And it has to do with the figure number that we're at. So we also need to figure out what we would have if we, where we started from. So if we could do a figure zero, something without a, a triangle but a starting point, and follow this pattern back, we would have started our output values at one. So looking at it, we still have two times we call our figure number n, we take our figure number, multiply it by 2, and add that one extra toothpick to make it happen. So we have 2 times 1 plus 1, 2 times 2 plus 1, 2 times 3 plus 1, 2 times 4 plus 1. So how do we generalize this out into work with any 
toothpicks or any uh, number of triangles, we're going to go 2 times our number of triangles plus 1 will tell us what we need. Now in this we have a number of different items. We have numerical expressions. An expression is an item of mathematical of mathematics that does not have an equal sign. So any of the items in this process column are expressions. The first ones associated with the figure numbers are numerical expressions. Now we also have algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is any mathematical expression that involves a variable of some sort, a letter that represents a number and is able to change. So this last item, 2n plus 1, is a algebraic expression. The variable, the item n is our variable. It can change with what's happening. Now as we build on these ideas in Algebra 2, we're going to find different ways to use algebraic expressions to display data and explain things in the world around us. Now with algebra and these algebraic expressions, we can also display them graphically. So now if we were to take that same information about our toothpicks and express it graphically, we'd get the following information. When we had one t triangle, we ended up with three toothpicks. Two triangles gave us five. Three triangles was seven. Four was nine. And then we can continue the pattern and extrapolate out how many would be needed for subsequent numbers of triangles. Now continuing to build this idea and put, the, put it all together, we did say that if we had zero triangles we would still need one item. So connecting these you're able to produce a graph that looks something like this. Now in this graph the items on the line don't make so much of a difference as it is the individual points. You can't have half of a triangle. So we're going to just work on the integer values for number of triangles. Being able to express patterns that we see through algebraic expressions, represent them graphically for visual people, and talk about them are all very important skills, and we will build on these throughout the study of Algebra 2. So make sure you understand these concepts and the vocabulary discussed, and be ready to use as we move through this adventure of math.